All right, family, good morning. Good morning, Spreaker. We are up. We are live. The message should be coming out in a second. Then the world know what's going on. Let's go ahead and uh, go up to our, our Facebook. Pull stuff back up the way it's supposed to be. Wow, here we go. There we go. So, you know to grab your glasses. Grab your glasses. It's about to go down. <sighs> we should have messages rolling out real soon. Jami is letting us people know that we are live on Spreaker. We are also, also, of course, live on <sighs> Facebook. Here we go. I am Brother Hot Tim, and you are now listening to the best Jami Journey Media. Man, maybe you're not listening to the best. What's going on here? What? What? Say I got sound. We might not have sound, people. I don't know what's going on. Oh, hold on. My daughter's. See what my daughter did. Let's see if they did something. I'll turn it so that you can listen to all the facts in your headphones. Hmm. All right. Huh. Uh, oh, there you go, right there. Okay. Yep. Them girls. Them girls. I love them. All right. You're not listening to the best. This is Giami. Journey Media. Oh man. Of course you know this is Debbie Tosin. This is the Heart of the Summer Production. <laughs> well we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigm. <laughs> Alright, so it's too late. That's how you doing, Auntie? those glasses because I'm running late. Now, let me tell you why I'm running late. This is a good reason, right? There well, ain't no good reason to be running late, but so I went in the kitchen and I remembered that I had some greens that Cleve had, well, actually, um, they pulled them off the garden towers yesterday. And I made some soup last night. I said, I want some of that for breakfast this morning. Maybe some to take away for lunch. So I just grabbed my steamer and I cut me up some onions, cut me up some tomatoes, got me some tomato paste, got me a little bit of miso, and I put it all up in here with these 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 uh these ancient looking kale greens. They call them dinosaur kale. They all wrinkled and nice and long. And I go on and I put it together in the pot and got it steaming. And then also I put some uh, potatoes, some eggs on the top part of the steamer. So that if my kids want some potatoes and eggs for breakfast, it's already ready. So, you know, it's kind of a good reason to be late, but really there's no good reason to be late. And also, here we go. So grab your glasses. Grab your glasses.
raise your glasses, don't your hands up. Now raise your glasses, don't your hands up. Now raise your glasses, don't your hands up. Now raise your glasses, don't your hands up. Some of us got, we got to get ready for work. I'm getting ready for work right now. Man, I did knock a bump on my head. Good grief. You know, you know when you leave the cabinet open, you turn around and wow. But hey, so it's cool to check Leah. It's a great, it's going to be a great day. Yesterday, um, I had, I, 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 I was, I was under the weather. The stomach was uh, bothering me. Head was bothering me a little bit. So I just laid down. It was kind of good because I didn't have to like necessarily interact with anybody. I was able to sleep until like almost one o'clock, and I was able to go in and soak in some hot water for a long time to kind of you know. And it's kind of like I, I needed a I needed a break because every day I'm I'm surrounded, so I had an opportunity not to have any interactions, any you know. So I had to get up and get Miss Sasha my some cereal. But other than that, I didn't have to have any interaction so sometimes I guess sometimes I have to kind of remember to pull myself out of the as they get some people call it out of the matrix I have to pull myself out of the out of life sometimes and allow life to flow without me being in there you know um plus I'm quite sure with some other stuff that that was kind of affecting me but I just I just laid around and um and, 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 and after whatever was in me passed, I was able to jump back up, handle my business. Great cool, great cool chocolate to you as well, Mr. Kwame. Hey, uh, I put your batch together. I think it'll be ready in about three, three days. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to let it breathe because we got, we got a whole new batch of uh, Ambrosia here, right? So uh, I got this, this in here. And I want to see how it tastes under pressure, right? So we ain't going to pop. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I was tightening it up. I thought I was tightening it up. But I could hear some pressure building. But you see, it looks just a little bit different than the other style of tea. And we're going to try it a little bit with a little bit of carbonation. So we're going to pop this one today so that we could go. On. Oh, man. Don't do that. Eat some of that up there. Okay, cool. I'm going to let it sit for about three days. Um, and then, you know, it's going to be a little bit sweeter, though. So it's going to take a little bit longer for it to mature. So, um, but since you only take, since you sipping on it, so that, that should be good. All right. So we on self-determination. The day is, of course, you know, Kooja Shaglia, self-determination. The mighty principle is justice. The color is indigo. Um, the Hermetic Law Correspondence, uh, the male name is Kwabana, female name is Abana. This is my day, right? This is the day I was born on. Um, I, I, so, the t-shirt, like I said, I'm doing a t-shirt. We also, I'm sending out the book with the t-shirt. I will be, I will be posting it up, but I ain't gonna post this up until after the Malcolm X Festival, because I don't like to confuse the the flow the, the the cash flow so um we'll throw this up after 
the Malcolm X Festival. So it'll be Seven Sticks, which is a book that I published. Don't die. This is this this is having kids. This is this is my children here, right? But if the cover is just like this, back look like that. Oh, they rough. Babies is rough, right? Come with the shirt. So it'll be a nice little package, right? And then also, um, I may be able to be doing something with the calendars real soon as well. So, but um, let's get to, without any further ado, because we're running kind of late. Drink your water, and then we'll get straight to the stove. Oh, my fault. I knew it was something I was supposed to do. All right. So, let's go to the folktale of the week. We'll be discussing this one tonight. I have money from a no food vendor and a couple family contributions. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, speaking of that, family, family, please. Like I said, um, we are looking for, I don't like calling them donations because I we exchange something for them, right? You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, he, uh, Brother Kwame is taking the contributions um, by hand, so I don't know if he's giving people something. But everybody that registers on a gum road account, we we send you a book or something, you know what I'm saying, PDF or something, because the, the issue is we want to exchange, right? So now we are over, we're probably about two-thirds, close to two-thirds. I ain't going to say a total two-thirds yet. We're close to two-thirds to the point where we need to be in order for this festival to happen. And all of it has been part, has been coming from us. So just to remind you, May 19th, May 19th, 2018, at Millennial Community School, it will be going down. The Malcolm X Festival will be going down. We will have live entertainment. We will have a field day for the children. We will have vendors. We will have food vendors. Hopefully, I'll get some food trucks up in there as well, right? Um, we, we will be having um, a demotional emancipation circle. We will be having a speaker coming in. To, to, to holler at us about what's going on with Malcolm X legacy and how it applies today. You know what I'm saying? And of course, for my family out of town, we will be taping. Right? We ain't, even though you don't use tape no more. All right? So, the folk tale for the night is called The Eagle and the Fox. An eagle and a fox formed an intimate friendship and decided to live near each other. Uh-oh, we did this one. The eagle built her nest in the branches of a tall tree while the fox crept into the underwood and there produced her young. Not long after they had agreed upon this plan, the eagle, being in want of provision for her young ones, swooped down while the fox was out and seized upon one of the little cubs and feasted herself and her brood. The fox on her return discovered what had happened but was less grieved for the death of her young than for her inability to avenge them. A just retribution, however, quickly fell upon the eagle. While hovering near an altar on which some villagers were sacrificing a goat, she suddenly seized a piece of the flesh and carried it, along with a burning cinder, to her nest. A strong breeze soon fanned the spark into a flame, and the eaglets, as yet unfledged and helpless, were roasted in their nest and dropped down dead at the bottom of the tree. There inside of the eagle, the fox gobbled them up. Damn, that was dark. That's the Eagle and the Fox for anybody that want to take time to study it for the show tonight. Come up with some insights because I'm quite sure it's going to lead us into what's going on in world politics, what's going on in local politics, what's going on in family politics. 
You know what I'm saying? What's going on in personal relationships? What's going on in business relationships? What's going on in the, on the job? In some form of fashion, it's this wisdom mind. You start finding like the deeper and the harder that you dig, the more that you are able to find. All right? So hold on. Mm. Got to finish this bottle. Emotional Emancipation Circle. We will have an emotional emancipation circle. The new session will be starting on May 19th at the Millennium Community School. Right? So those of you that's interested in the the um, the EEC or the most emancipation circles, it will be going down up at the Millennium Community School. We'll provide space for uh the first session to take place, and then after that, hopefully we will be be able to continue meeting bi-weekly up at the Millennium Community School. So now, this is what's going to be the challenge. Because, of course, you know, Jeremy Journey, we have our meetings bi-weekly, and we're going to try to bring it in tune with what's going on with the mass emotional emancipation circle so that we can get our young people certified in this, as well as, as, well as the adults. But make sure our young people experience this at an early enough age where they got time to think about time to work through this, right? So our young people is going through this training as well as some of the new people that's coming on and coming into the family. So because uh, I honestly believe that this emotional masturbation circle, uh, the discussions that are held there need to be, need to be used can be used to help bring people to the next level. Help, in a sense, initiate people into, at least emotionally, into into um, into the lifestyle that <laughs> I'm talking about. That's that pepper from them um, greens, boy. All right, here we go. We are on the African Center Culture Virtue and Value System. The principle of the day is, or in Wolof, in Wolof, the word is cursor, self-respect and respect for others, a kind, ethics, generosity, and beneficence. And in traditional Yoruba, today is Ifarabali, calmness. All right. So, we got a little bit more water. <laughs> Man. Woo. All right. Let's go ahead, finish up this water so that we can feel good about uh, taking this toast because this, this sneeziness is monumental. All right, you see, I got my other bottle too, but we're going to experiment with this other bottle. sending out another text uh, letting people know about um, the opportunity to invest in the Malcolm X Festival. Maybe that's what I'm going to call it. Investment. Investment in the Malcolm X Festival, right? Well, what's the return, Brother Hot Tim? Let me think about that. Let me think about that. Oh. Let's see if it makes the sound. It did a little something, just a little bit. I'm gonna let this one sit like that because this that was kind of disappointing. I'm just being honest, but it did make a little sound. So let's go to the corral. All right, uh -oh. just a little bit, of, a little bit of talking going on. Once again, I use a different type of tea. For this batch, a tea called Sin Cha. I just can't wait to see how it ages a little bit. It's 
still, I still can smell the honey. It's becoming, it's going away just a little bit, and it's mixing, and it's becoming a real kind of fruity smell. <laughs> and I added some more to this from the batch that I pulled out last night. So, all right, without any further ado, let's get to the stars of the show. First, calling on the creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator, we lift up our glass to salute the first source, to salute the first ancestor, and we say, I shame. From there, calling on them by names. We want to salute our personal ancestors. Those that make it possible for us to exist. Or those, let's say, those whose shoulders we stand upon, right? Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robin and Texan, and Davis, Hunt Brown, Sr., Rosalie, Tilly, George, and William Walter, Christopher, and the Gadsden, Eileen, Uncle Chris, Alfie, Cleveland, and Geneva Brown, Margaret Ellis, Wild Shelley, Cecil Ellis, Alvaro Brown. Gina Gaines, Herm Brown II, Barbara Twiggs, Watch Sellers, Judy, Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Toppin, John Falar, Montague Pippen, Nell, No More X, Pet Mile, Rob, Malika Fakur, Dr. Marianne Williams, Coach of Kamal, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie Dixon, Tony Clark, Pat Sub Weston, Elder Abjani, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alfred Bro, Pro, Hector Jr., J. Edwards, Carlisle Harris, Grace Lunny, Inez Harris, William Bill, Moss Willis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Derek L. Pulley, and the Luxter Brothers, Miss Eda Brooks Crawley, Miss Marie Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley Sr., Ms. Jerry Brunson, Mr. Alonzo Johnson, Ms. Marie McDowell, James Foster, Charles Jordan, Kill Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Trigg, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, George Gisson, Natalie Loretta Clark, Inez McCray, Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Rodman, Virginia Rogers, Reverend Jane Smith, Lewis Henderson, Calvin Spratling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Kellen D. Russell, Susie B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Melvin Dale Hodge, Melvin Dale Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird Beatty, Sarah Ware, LaVita Farmer, I go to Susie, Harvey, Aunt Charmaine, Aunt Evelyn, Theolis Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury, C. Leonard Dickinson, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mark Walsh, Merle B. Thornton, Pearl, Pearl G. Thornton, Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thornton, Edgar Trisha Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary Eliza, Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, Mary Esther Keach Larice, Linda Watson Hammonds, Jarrell Giles Watson, Sparrow Slimmy, Selvin Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore Jr., Mildred Owens, Booker T. Bowden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Hilda Pearson, Sergio Thornton, Richard Thornton, Novena Hall, Freeman Banks, and Mary Moss, Ophelia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kempty, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quails, Ramona Thornton, Bernice Quails, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, S.E. Johnson, Del Rita Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. West Sr., James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry World, James Farmer, Mary Chavez, Leon Grace, Bessie Johnson, Hattie Levester, Mary Moreland, Paul Lo Moreland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martinez, Elder Amitab Wellman, Fred Douglas Triggs, the Sr., Thelma Triggs, Thomas and Lula Berry, Lu L Lacey and Eleanor Howe, Frank and Russell and Davis, Fred Douglas Triggs II, Bina Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson, Senior Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy, Alexa Percy May Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carla Sawyer, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy, Mitch Vanilla, Alvis Motley, Geraldine Elizabeth, Douglas Thompson, Arlington Houston, Leroy Q. Heath, Margaret Towns, Mary Williams, James Harrison, Evil Ford, Nanny Harris, Big Mama, Martha Ford Dawson, Mona Ann Lewis, Corinth Lyman Lewis, John Jackson, William Dallas Lewis, Mary Francis, Chappelle Jackson, Michael Slade, Joanne Perkins, Richard Jackson, Viv Vivian Stevenson, Neely Johnson, Fletcher Swan, Maddie and Charlie Scott. I'd like to donate to the Malcolm X Festival. I'll um I'll send the link out. If you look on have you been getting the, the daily text? Well I ain't go yeah. For for y'all for uh Giammy it's, it's daily. So the um I will send you a link, Auntie. Lady Johnson, Fletcher Swan, Maddie and Charlie Scott, Doretha Ross, Riola Ross, Robert Nelson, Francis Stevenson, Leroy Stokes. Lester and Rachel Sanders. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be in Akron 
uh, on Saturday, one of my cousins got, uh, one of my cousins was murdered up there, so I'm going to have to come up there for the funeral, okay? Um, so, John Bowie, Alex Nixon, do you want a Scoby? You want me to bring your Scoby, Archie? If you want to bring your Scoby, I'll bring your Scoby. Um... Eula Andrew Baker, Patricia Edwin Brooks, Gwilyn and Bob Hatch, Kimball Burnham, Bradley Kim, Janie Harriet Tubman, Cates, Spencer Sturgis, Sally Mae Baker, Ethel Baker, Criolo Baker, Geneva Baker, Aaron Nino, Baby Hatch, Hatch Senior, Mally Miller, Housie Hatch, Dad Cleveland, Mother Gibson, Alice Arnold, Arthur Arnold, Hattie Reed, Charles Reed, Aunt Becker, Charles McDaniels, Anna McGill, Archie Beck. Lee Irby, Tom Irby, Boy Irby, Jim Gauthier, George and Haley Johnson, Archie and Margaret Armstead, Jerry Doyle, Mary Nichols, Amina Robinson, Patricia Williams, Shabaka Ture, Donna Hill, Richard Gleavis, Emma McClendon, Dan Wilkinson Sr., Francis Boots Jefferson, Irene Johnson, Judy Hubbard, Ronald Irving, Paula Cox, Ruth Cox, Ju uh, June Cox, Ruth Carter, Stacy Trice, Frank Smith, Mother Bertha, Michael Leonard, David Brown, Hazel Gaston, Jerry Brantley, Brian Watson Jr., Kaneko Parsons, Jason Cathy, Jennifer Sensabaugh, Ada Pearl, Bob Ingalls, Condolences. Yeah, yes, ma'am. So I um I I'll bring the scope because I'm be riding I'm gonna be riding with with um Talise. So I bring the scope up that way. Eight of pearls. So get you some, get get a gallon jug. Go to um, like Walmart or someplace where you get the mason jars. They got gallon mason jars or a jar big enough. You got one at home big enough where you can put your hand down in, right? Get you some green tea. Get you some raw honey. Get you some um, distilled or spring water. All right? So that you can have it ready and um, buy on Ujima, you could you could um, start brewing your tea. So that when I when I bring your scoby, all you gotta do is mix the honey in, drop the scoby in, and and basically seal it off with a towel and a rubber band, and just let it brew. Um, Jennifer Sinsabaugh, Ada Pearl, Bob Ingalls, Jack Wallace, Warren P. Finch, Tim Ingalls, Audrey Finch, William Billingsley Jr., Gene Holmes, Dana Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Cardinal Robinson, Rosemary Charles, Janice Carter, Michael Carter, Leon Peanut Carter, Margaret Carter, William Carter, Lisa Jordan, Charles Lee Mosley, Miriam Johnson, Wilbert Longmire, Edith Catney, John Dewey, Ruth Beard, Timothy Butler, Penny Brown, Charles Wooden, Eugene Spratling, Calvin Spratling, Phyllis Lee, Defridis, Defridis Hines, Inez Bostic, Edna Bostic, Winifred Scantleberry. I think I missed somebody. Oh. I think I, all right, um, okay, I got her, all right, so, all right, family, so, we call, and we salute those ancestors, and we say, I say, um, from there, from there, family, here we go, from there, we lift up our glass, and we salute, we salute the present moment, which is Kujishagalia, and we are going to activate the reticular formations, and we're going to look for Kujishagalia in our lives. Kujishagalia is surrounding us, right? We lift up our glass, and we say our shade. From there, family, we move on to our future generations. We toast our children, our children's children, on to infinity, and we say our shade. Last but not least, last but not least, we move on to... All of our relations, and we say, I say, my fault that wouldn't last. The last thing is to toast you. I toast each and every last one of you for taking the time to join me each morning. And I say, I say, I say, 
I say, and we say, I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. Yeah. Family, we out. All right? So, I'm going to have, have, have that score before you, auntie. So, I'll be seeing you on Saturday. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rain somewhere to get over there. All right? <coughs> I'll be calling you when I get in time. All right? So, with that, I am, well, let's see how this takes. Hot damn. Okay. Now, this makes me want to bottle it up to see how it would react. Because it's real, you know, it's kind of laid back. I'm like, man, all right. Wow. All right. I'll see y'all soon. Peace. Miss Amatu, how is your brewing coming? All right, family. We out.